Hello, my name is Ector and welcome to this tutorial on Bibliocraft paintings. Uh, one of my subscribers requested this, so let's get straight into it. Okay, the first thing to know is how to make the painted frame. This is what it looks like. Um, you put some slabs in a cross and then there's some sticks at the end. This comes in all the varieties of a uh, wood and it is frameless. So that's what it looks like with the canvas in. Then if you want to have a frame, you take your painting frame and you actually put uh, in a crafting grid slabs around it and then you get a border, you get the actual painting frame, okay? Nice and simple. And then finally, how to make a canvas. Uh, wall in the middle, string in the middle and then sticks on the outside and that's how you make a canvas. Nice and simple. Uh, then this screw gun here. Screw gun, really handy little item in Bibliocraft. It does a lot of other things, not just limited to paintings, um, but we won't go into that here. But to make that, you need iron, uh, a stone button, a redstone block, and then orange clay, like that. And that makes a screw gun. And then last but not least, a painting press, which is kind of the most important item. Uh, iron. A painting frame and iron blocks is how you make that. So we've got two different types. This is the uh, this is the painting frame one without the border. This is the one with the border. Okay. So to make a painting, you get your canvas, and you can actually, if you just kind of right click it in, you can actually see the animation, which is I I like. I think that's a nice thing. And then we have the GUI of the um the painting press so you can see bibliocraft vanilla and custom now we'll get to custom in a bit but um this offers all the vanilla paintings and i think is it like 10 or 11 bibliocraft paintings so to choose your own painting you can it's uh, you know a lot simpler than vanilla say we want the boat one you press transfer and then you can see it coming on and then it says sea of portals that is the painting name uh, very simple and it's the same it's the same with the vanilla it's nice and simple say we want that one actually no let's let's choose a big one transfer and there it is wither okay so let's have a look at how to put these in now uh, default when you put in uh, the painting frame it goes on the left hand side but what you need to do first say we want another four oh, wrong side there you can see the edges kind of get in the way so it's not clear like here it's uh yeah it's still got the edges they're still individual four individual frames and this is where the screw gun comes in so you need to shift and right click and basically you select one and then you select the other and it joins them up so you need to do that four times and get rid of them all and you can you can repeat it you can undo it as well so that's that's why the screw gun is necessary now Let's put the painting in. The painting default always goes in the bottom left. Okay, there you go. Uh, and there you go. You can see it's the master corner. Okay, so from here, this is the painting kind of GUI. You can mess around with stuff. So obviously, we don't want it like that. You know, it needs to be a bit bigger. So we scale it up. And there you go. Scale it up. Painting size. It now says two by two, which is exactly what we want. And there it is. Now we can also change the resolution to 128 and there you go that makes it a little bit sharper so it's up to you I don't think it can go any higher or lower than 64 or 128 but it's you know it's up to you now what you can also do is change the aspect ratio now this kind of messes with the resolution and obviously it also there you go it messes big time with how big the painting is so that is another thing to kind of play around with also I mean scale you can kind of make it really quite big. There's really quite a lot of options, but let's let's just leave it at two for now. Um, if you want to change the corner, I mean the master corner is how you do it, and that just means where the painting starts in. So if you wanted it to start in the top right, what you would do is do it there, and that just kind of it. Oh, oh, I've not I've not actually done it. I need to do it in this one. That's another thing I should tell you. Uh, the painting GUI kind of it gets put on whichever canvas. Notice that there is no painting here, so it's still in the bottom left one. So if I change that to that, uh, you get this. Okay, so 
There you go, that's another thing. And lastly, rotation. Well, let's put it back. So you can you can change the rotation easily, but also you can do it with the screw gun. That's another another little thing that the screw gun does. And let's have a look at the vanilla painting. That's what it looks like. You can't unfortunately mess with uh, the resolution or the aspect ratio, but you can scale it up. That is still something you can do, but obviously the bigger it gets, the more kind of blocky the resolution looks. Right, the custom painting. Um, so I did one earlier, as you can see, and I followed a guide on the internet, and I will put that link in the description. But what it what it consists of basically is extracting uh, the bibliocraft jar, which is you know the kind of the file that contains the mod, and in that there is a folder which you can put these paintings in. You have to do a bit of kind of zipping and unzipping and whatnot, but you just put it in, you just use PNGs. That's all there is to it. It's really easy. If you have any questions, uh, like I say, the, gu the guide will be in the description, so go check it out, but feel free to ask me. But anyway, it works the same way. Um, you can put stuff in like that. And then here you can play with the scale and the aspect ratio, but not the resolution. That's kind of fixed. Um, so I think if we kind of do that, yes, there we go. So you can see it's a little bit warped. It's not exact. And you might find that some of the paintings, you know, you kind of might have to look around. Or what you could also do is you can crop the picture so that it kind of fits the aspect ratio that you want better. And the aspect ratios obviously are... Uh, it's these resolutions, you know, it's all in the kind of 8-bit kind of format. So there you go. That's that's all there is to it. So if you did find this useful, if you did like learning a bit more about Bibliocraft, then please do like the episode, comment. Again, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. I will happily help out if I can. But that is all from me. I've been Hector, this has been learning more about Bibliocraft paintings, and I will see you next time guys, bye bye.